I am back with a slightly different setup here. I'm trying out something new. I'm still in my same studio. I just was looking back on my, some of my old videos that I filmed, like makeup tutorials, and honestly, the ones where I thought the color was the most accurate and like most vibrant was the ones where I just had a simple white background. So I'm kind of experimenting with a new setup just for now. I still have my old setup like on that wall, so I can always go back to that. So let me know how you like it. By the way, I was like on the run, on the go all day today, so I'm sorry if my makeup is not looking super fresh anymore. Honestly, I don't really buy too much makeup anymore myself because I have a huge collection at this point and it's really hard for me to find products um, that are unique to something I don't already own. It's getting harder and harder to find products that I'm not like buying multiples of, like it's just a different brand but the color is like exactly the same. And the other is it's hard to find storage space. Um, I'm like at my limit right now of what I feel comfortable with. I don't want to go out and buy more storage space just to own more makeup, just to own more stuff. I already give away so much of my products away to friends and family. I want to really use up things I already own. You know, sometimes I'll of course like repurchase things that I've run out of that are like staples for me. It just seems a bit wasteful to me to like go out and buy more things that you already have so much of. But I have bought a few new things in the last little while, so it's gonna be a collective haul. Let's talk at first about a few things I got from MAC Cosmetics. So for my wedding, which was in May, I wanted to buy a new foundation. I'd heard really good things about the MAC Pro Longwear. I've heard great things that it's really long lasting on brides. This is NW13. This does actually contain SPF, it's SPF 10, which is not super high. I was a little bit hesitant hesitant about buying this for my wedding foundation because of the sunscreen that's in it but it ended up working out completely fine like it didn't have that flashback it's a really super long wearing foundation it's really easy to apply and it just it looks great on it's yeah it's super super long lasting so if you want something that's really going to last a long time and still look good after a long time I can definitely recommend this foundation this is the absolute lightest shade and honestly I feel like it's just a smidgen too dark for me so if you're my skin tone or even fair um see if this one will work the lightest one because there is none below this like there's no nw10 also with that i bought this in combination i bought the um pro longwear concealer now it usually does not come in a pot like this obviously and i'll explain that and this is the issue i had it's a glass bottle i think i had this shade nw20 i think that was the color it's kind of a more peach tone shade i ended up dropping the bottle when i was packing my makeup to go um to france for my wedding and as i was packing it like there was just a lot of stuff standing around obviously and I dropped the bottle and it just completely smashed on the floor the glass that they have used it in it's not a very thick glass you know some foundation bottles they're also on glass but the glass is like really really thick so even if you drop it it doesn't necessarily smash it and this glass is really thin so I hate the packaging that it came in. Um, also, the, it comes in like a pump dispenser and it dispenses a lot into a single pump. So you have to like really be careful not to get out too much. But I have now, I rescued whatever was left. And it's kind of annoying because now it's kind of open and um, I don't know. I love this concealer though. It's really sort of a full cover concealer. You only need a tiny bit. It's super pigmented. This is just not very user friendly in that glass bottle. I know other people who've had that same issue. I don't know. We'll see if I repurchase it when I run out. In that kind of bundle, I mean, I bought these all separately, but I wanted to buy a foundation, a concealer, and a powder for my wedding day. So I ended up buying the Mineralize Skin Finish Light Plus Powder because I wanted a powder that is not too powdery, if that makes sense. Like, I didn't want it to look like I was caking on a really, really matte layer. I still want it to mattify, but I wanted it to have almost a satin finish. So I didn't want it to look super, super dry and matte. Anyway, I just like to apply it like this. This is really good for touch-ups and um, it doesn't add a really heavy layer on top. And something I bought a while ago from MAC when this came out, this is the MAC Light Scapade Mineralized Skin Finish. If you want this, you can get it um, anytime because it is permanent now. This is such a gorgeous highlighter for fair skin because it has a very, very light, cool tone 
finish, like as you can see when I'm applying it, there's a little bit of a blue tone in here, which I know when you look at it, you think, okay, I don't really want a blue color on my skin. But if you have really fair, fair, fair skin, sometimes it's hard to find um, a highlighter that's not too golden and too warm. So this one has this beautiful cool tone to it and it's very, it's almost like a whitish kind of shimmer so this is so perfect for fair skinned gals. Um, I got one of the lipsticks by Makeup Forever. I am a huge Makeup Forever fan. I think their products are really, really good quality and you really, I think, get what you pay for with this brand so that's always something I look for is if I'm going to be spending more on a higher end brand, I really want to get my bang for my buck, you know what I mean? Like some brands I feel like I'm just paying for the name and the quality is not really there. This is the Rouge Artist Intense Lipstick and this is a number 32 and I love this. I wore this for my post wedding photo shoot like the um, sort of bridal shoot after. We did that actually after our wedding so that we had more time and it was more relaxed and I actually ended up wearing this lipstick. I didn't wear this on my wedding day. I wish I'd had it on my wedding day because I would have worn it and I love the Rouge Artist Intense. They're just super opaque lipsticks. They're just full on color, like you just put it on one swipe, it's opaque, and they're very long lasting, but they have a satin finish, so they're not super, super drying, and they're also not too slippery. And I wanted just a really medium pink that wasn't too much going into the mauve side, that wasn't going into the babies, pink side that, you know, that wasn't too pastelish, that wasn't too warm, just this kind of perfect mid color. And this is the one, this is like the one I've been looking for. This is the one! <laughs> so it's number 32. So speaking of Makeup Forever, um, I was actually, when I was at that Sephora, I was looking for the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. And they didn't have that particular product. I had heard from some other bloggers that there was kind of a Chinese eBay version copy of that flash palette that was like very 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 similar and at a fraction of the price because the flash palette by Makeup Forever is supposed to be really good but it's supposed to be like it is super expensive and honestly I don't know how much I would use it because I don't really use these bright colors all too often but with Halloween coming up um, I thought I would try something out now this is as I said an eBay version it's like almost an exact dupe um, color wise and like the packaging everything it looks like identical and I just put into eBay I put in I magic flash color palette it is like almost an exact dupe I saw some reviews on um, you know some other beauty blogs and they had swatched each color in comparison to the makeup forever flash palette and the colors were like spot on they're basically a cream color product. So you could use these for face painting and you could use it on kids. Use this as an eyeshadow base. You know, if you want the color to really pop, you put one of these colors, you can blend them. If you have like a little palette, you can blend the colors together to make your own custom shade. You can also use it as a custom lip color, you know, if you want to blend them together. So it's a really versatile palette that you can use for sort of specialty looks, you know. With Halloween coming up, I think this is going to be a great um, thing to use. The best thing is that this costs $10 on eBay. Yes, like I could not believe it. I honestly haven't tried it out. I am dying to dig into this I just wanted to show it to you guys all fresh and perfect But um, I will definitely try it out and let you know how the quality is I don't have the makeup for everyone to compare just to let you know So, um, you know, I can't say if it's like the quality is a dupe. It's probably not honestly for something I'm probably not gonna use like every single day, you know, why not save a bit of money? This is ten bucks selling. I think the flash palette is like over a hundred so recently I also was at England lot. I think there's a couple locations. Anyway, I was at the location in Zurich and I have heard so many good things about their gel liners and I've been on the hunt for a new gel liner for a while. I was always using the matte black track and I, I don't know if that one's just kind of like drying out or something, but the colors just wasn't as black anymore as I would like. So I did pick up the AMC eyeliner in number 77, which is the black one. It comes in a screw top. There's a little sort of plasticky doohickey thing to protect it and I use my spatula with it so that I don't have the case open too long while I'm applying it I use a little metal spatula like this so this is my Creolon I get a little bit out close the lid right away so that these things don't dry out too fast 
and then I take it from the little spatula and use that. And I have only used this one time, but I can honestly say this is the blackest gel eyeliner that I have tried. I've only used it once, so I'm still gonna experiment with a little bit, but it definitely is blacker than the MAC Black Track. And what I also bought is at Inglot, you can get this product called the Duraline. Basically a product that you can add to gel liners, especially formulated, of course, for the one from Inglot. And it's like an eyedropper, and you can add it to your gel liner once it starts drying out. So that is something that I think is so genius. You know, as the gel liner starts drying out, it's so hard to work with. It'll it'll get like clumpy on the brush. You can't make a smooth line anymore, and then you usually have to end up throwing it out. I have tried other sort of mixing agents, and obviously often they don't mix perfectly with the liner. And once it starts drying out, you can basically just it's like an eyedropper, take a couple drops, mix it in with the gel liner. You could even use a spatula and mix it all throughout or you can just put it on the top and that'll help to revive it so that it's in that same product again uh, the same condition again so I am super excited about this and of course you can use this with either gel liners I mean it is formulated for the ones from Inglot but I'm assuming you can use it all for for like Maybelline and you know Bobbi Brown Mac whatever ones you use so super excited about that I think this is a genius idea I wish all like gel liners came out with something like this I went and ordered a few things from NYX cosmetics three lip liners this one is called nude beige number 857 and it's just like a sort of a beigey beige nude color I think the the color description is quite accurate on this because it is sort of a more um, brownish beige color 1000 years this is actually the reason why I ordered it I wanted to get this particular color because I have heard that this is a really good dupe of Mac stone lip liner I believe and that has this kind of grayy look it's kind of a grayish browny color kind of reminds me of this 90s color that was popular back then it's this one right here of course I could just get Mac Stone but um, this isn't a color I would wear very much and I don't know if this will really suit me so why not save a bit of money and try it out first in a less expensive version and then you'll kind of see if you like it and I mean I like a bargain as much as the next person so um, yeah this is 1000 years if you are kind of looking for that grayish lip trend and you don't want to get something really expensive try out this lip liner by NYX and this is number 824 and this is just called orange I'm a huge orange lipstick fan I actually have an orange lip liner but I wanted something a little bit more brighter the one I have is sort of an orangey red and this is like straight up orange so I got this one and the, I'm so impressed with these lip pencils like this orange one is swatching beautifully so next I got three blushes by Max Factor that yeah, they're very comparable to the Hourglass ambient blushes and I don't have the ambient blushes by Hourglass I do have two of the ambient lighting powders but um, I did swatch like the blushes at Sephora these are very very similar to the Hourglass ones um, they have that sort of shimmery finish there are these baked blushes that come with like this rounded top and I I got these in three colors so this one over here is called um, nude mauve which is kind of a strange name because it's more like a tan color like a really light natural tan color this one here is called um, seductive pink and this last one over here is gorgeous berries I think they're so beautiful they are just so easy to apply I'm actually wearing this one uh, today this berries one um, this is what I have on my cheeks this is a really nice one and I've been wearing all of these like these are great blushes they have a little bit of sheen to them so when you apply them they don't they aren't completely matte I think the um, the ambient lighting ones or the um, the hourglass blushes have a little bit more shimmer to them like they're more shimmery than these ones but these are kind of similar in the way that they look and the way that they apply and the colors are super easy to wear so these are awesome awesome blushes from the drugstore and I got another product for max by max factor this was I bought this as a like a bridal trial this was before I had that lipstick by makeup forever if I had just had this color like I said it's not possible really to buy makeup forever very easily here I wouldn't have bought this um, because this is this is exactly the color that I was looking for these are called the lip finities you know where you have like the first step is like the paint on lipstick and then you let that dry for a moment and then you apply this kind of gloss over this is like a clear lacquer it's not like a gloss it's like in a stick form but it's kind of like a 
um, moisturizer on top, 003. This just cracked so badly on my lips after a while. Like I thought, oh, it's gonna be great because when I drink, you know, champagne or I drink wine or whatever, it won't come off on the glass and that really does work. But after you apply this, and even if you follow that with this, like after like a couple hours, or even like after an hour, you can see like every single line in your lips, it's like cracked everywhere. I mean, the lipstick is still staying on, but it just looked so cakey and cracked and just unappetizing. I tried another one of these sort of long lasting lipsticks. It's by L'Oreal. Number 700 Boundless Burgundy. And I thought this would be really sort of vampy. It has another one of those like Too Faced where it has like the paint on color here. And then you follow it with this sort of stick moisturizer thing on the top. This one, actually actually didn't even last as well as this one by Max Factor. This one at least lasted for a while, even though it was like all cracked and gross, at least it stayed on the lips. This one didn't really stay on that well. And because it was such a dark color, um, as soon as it started fading on like the inner corner of my mouth, of my mouth, it just looked so weird because you'd have this like dark, really dark color, like this burgundy here. And then the inner side, there was like bits of lipstick missing. So you'd have to like go and reapply it. But the thing is, if you have this glossy stuff on top, you can't really reapply apply the thing the color on top you have to like remove the whole makeup and then start fresh and this was just like a pain I don't know I'm not a fan of these long-lasting lipstick products I don't know if maybe like a higher-end brand might work better but have you guys had any good experience with these let me know I like the idea of them but they just don't they just don't look good after a while so what's the point right and then I also tried out a new product by uh, Maybelline and this is the color drama intense velvet lip pencils love my my pink number 130 and this is just a really easy draw on lip crayon I love this color it's a really bright happy pink color yeah this was super easy it's like super easy to apply it's creamy it has a nice fruity scent which is really actually nice really good product like from the drugstore the Aster eye artist liquid eyeliner stimulong serum and i wanted to try this because this is really like a liquid liner that has a paint on brush um these are hard to find now here i feel like all the liquid liners nowadays have a felt tip applicator the actual product i didn't like it you have to apply like two coats for it to get really opaque um, the first coat was kind of like streaky there'd be little bits where it wasn't quite as black as other areas. So that was kind of weird. You had to like go over those areas a second time. And then because you had to do that, it kind of made a mess, especially with a, a thing like this. You don't want to have to go over it twice. And also this, this was really smudgy. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and rating it with a thumbs up. You can also make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. You can hit that red subscribe button. And if you would like to see more videos, click on either of the videos right now. You can see more. And you can also follow me on Snapchat. Um, I've been really active on there. My username on there is Julia underscore graph. And I'm also on like Instagram and Twitter and stuff. And I'll have all the links for that below. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope this was fun and helpful to kind of see reviews of all these things. And um, I will see you very soon. Bye.